बीएमएस एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है वी कंटिन्यू आवर लेसन फोर्टीन ऑन पैरोमीटर पैरामीट्रिक ड्राफ्टिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ए फ्यू हम द ज्योमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रेंट एंड नाउ वी डिस्कस ए फ्यू मोर ज्योमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रेंट विद द डेमो आई एल ओपन ऑटो कैट ओपन हियर we discuss about, about coincident perpendicular parallel horizontal vertical and we have to discuss the remaining and we discussed equal also we discuss about fix also now we will discuss about uh, uh, parallel also we have discussed we will discuss about uh, concentric tangent symmetry etc <coughs> suppose we have a circle let us say and we have another circle here it is drawn i want these two circles to be concentric then we can apply a parameter called concentric this one click on this and click on this it has become concentric it comes inside the circle <clears throat> now it has taken the first one as a reference suppose we click on the second one instead of first one let us see what is going to happen uh concentric is here this this which has come there the first one is taken as the reference and let us see what happens suppose we fix one of the circles <coughs> fix this circle in position fix and now let us see what is going to happen for the if we apply concentric concentric this first this it came here inside the circle since we have fixed the circle bigger circle it cannot move therefore the smaller circle comes in to the center of the uh, bigger circle even though we click first this smaller circle Similarly, we click first second circle. Even then, it comes because this circle is fixed. Okay. Now suppose we remove this fix. <coughs> Delete this fix, and now we apply fix to the smaller circle. Uh, fix to the smaller circle. it supplied now we will see what is going to happen let me make it concentric first this then this it comes to the smaller circle center so this is how and even if you click first the uh, smaller circle or concentric uh, uh, it comes the bigger circle comes inside suppose we click bigger circle first and then smaller circle then also it comes back on the smaller circle is fixed this is how uh, the fix command a uh, concentric command uh, works okay it becomes suppose we have one more uh, circle and suppose we want to make this concentric to clear concentric this 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 it has come inside or suppose we have let us see we have fixed this one and uh, we have fixed smaller circle and we will also fix the other circle here now let us try to move what is going to happen let us see i will try to move the first circle to the bigger one it did not move it is showing here yeah, dimensional value result in the inconsistent with the existing configuration because you have fixed this circle on which cursor is there and also you have fixed this circle in the position they cannot move so there is inconsistency so it will not move suppose we apply for a bigger circle let us see what is going to happen uh even if 
which was inconsistent because the bigger circle is already concentric with the uh, smaller circle here but and the second circle third circle is also fixed in its position and bigger circle cannot move because it is already concentric if you want to move the bigger circle you have to delete the concentricity of the bigger circle you will delete it now the circle bigger circle here is not concentric the smaller circle here and now you can definitely move the circle bigger circle to the here it has moved so this is how the concentric parameter works similarly for anything it will be normally circle even if you take an ellipse it remains the same possibly let us see one ellipse and uh, second ellipse let us see whether we can do this whether concentric can be applied here yes it is applied so this uh, ellipse comes inside a uh, smaller ellipse comes inside the bigger ellipse so same way it fixing uh, parameters also works on this okay and similarly let us see what is going to happen to your square because square you can't have a center here so you can't apply concentric here both we apply like this uh, let us see whether we can do it or not see it cannot be concentric only circles cannot be concentric and that locus of the one point is equidistant from all other points such figures can be concentric okay now we erase this this is about concentric we have learned and now we will go to a parallel tangent we will go to tangent and collinear and smooth symmetric these things we have to learn and now suppose we have one line here I have drawn it arbitrarily on the line, and another line somewhere here. I draw. Let us observe what is the collinear meaning. Collinear means both lines in the same line. It should be in the same uh, direction. It is aligned. When the lines are aligned, then it is called collinear. We will see whether we can apply collinear here. Collinear. Uh, this one. Apply this. See, it is both the lines are collinear. Yeah. Now the line is on the same line. Suppose I want to join this line with this line. Then what we have to do is click here, and we have a coincident. So we have to apply the coincident. Apply to this end, and apply to the other end. So both the ends become coincident. It lies on the same line. Suppose we want to apply coincident to the other point, we have to apply similarly. Coincident. Uh, coincident. I want to be what is concentric. We will have applied coincident. This. And I want to apply this. It has gone there. Okay. Now suppose we will move this, let us say, we have moved it, and now we apply coincident for these two points, how it behaves, let us see. It is joined here, so this is how uh, <coughs> coincident one. We can remove this. Uh, suppose we rotate this, what is going to happen? Let us see. See, the entire line, both of them rotate together because line has to be always collinear and hence it will, it will not uh, uh, offset from the uh, one line, the, uh, the one line with the other. It remains the same, so it will rotate uh, together. 
Suppose we remove this, we delete this offset. So no, the line is not collinear. This is only coincident. So now we will see we can rotate or not. So the line we can rotate or not. We can see this symbol we can use here. Here line rotated because this point is always fixed. I mean coincident. It rotates along with the line. Suppose I want to rotate from at this center. Then what we have to do is you click on you know, rotate. This line consider this point and we rotate. We have learned about rotation. <coughs> and now we will see, now we have learned coincident, perpendicular, parallel is also tangent. We will see tangent. Tangent means a line can be tangent to a circle, to an ellipse, or to any other curve. So we will see that uh, aspect. Suppose we draw a circle. Let us see. And we draw a line here. Okay. Now uh, I will draw it a little bit differently so that it looks like it is tangent. No, let it is not tangent. Now let me draw a line, something like this. Now this line is definitely in the figure is not tangent to this circle. So suppose we want to make it tangent. What we have to do is click tangent here. Yeah, it has become see symbol is this. So these two are tangent. Suppose I want to make this end of line contact with the circle, then we have to uh, click on coincident this point, and somewhere here you can select. Uh, so you can uh, draw a line somewhere here. Yeah, radius is drawn. So it has to be tangent to the circle at the same time coincident. Uh, what we have to do, whether we see whether it's possible or not. Because it shows center, it's not possible. Okay, it says inconsistent. So we cannot apply this uh, here uh, for because they become inconsistent because it's tangent. If you want to make it the contact, then what we can extend the line and uh, here. So now it has extended, now it is tangent. If you want, you can trim this so that the point is meeting because the point is the tangent point is constrained here. This point is constrained. Okay, it is tangent. Now we can apply the path uh, consistency with we see we can apply. Here it's not possible because our tangent means it's touching. So it's already touching and hence uh, it is going to be inconsistent if we apply. Suppose we have a circle, we have drawn some line, just point on this like this. Now this line is already having a coincident with the tangent, with the circle. Now, here we will see whether we can apply the uh, tangent rule. Here we can apply the tan tangent rule because the point which is touching here has moved to another point uh, on, the arc, on the circle circumference and the contact will remain the same. So hence we can apply this rule. Okay, it's touching here. Suppose we want to make this tangent, we can make. There is no inconsistency here. See, I will just show you once again. Tangent, 
I want to make this tangent to this because the circle has moved. Suppose let us say uh, I will fix the circle. Fix the circle. It is fixed in position. Now whether I can move this line or not. Even then move this line. Yes, the circle diameter has reduced and the contact will be the same. Only thing is because the circle cannot move in front position, but diameter is free to be reduced. So diameter is reduced such that this becomes the diameter become. See, suppose I draw it here. So it is uh, this diameter. It has become the diameter is equal to the perpendicular distance line. I will now. PR means perpendicular. So this becomes the this length of the line becomes the diameter uh, becomes the circle radius that the circle has changed. Now I will just show you once again how it changes. I am applying a tangent rule here. See, circle has changed. Line is also extended. Now let us see what is going to happen uh, if I fix the line also. Suppose I fix the line. Uh, let us say line is also fixed at this point. Let us see. Now whether we can draw the tangent or not. Let us tangent. Yes, we can draw because the line is fixed, but uh, point is fixed, but it can move as well to the circle. Okay. This is because its length will be changed. The point, this point is fixed, but its length is changed. Line length is change. See here once again. I will make it tangent. Line is fixed. This position is fixed. I will make it once again. See, this point is fixed in the same position. Contact is also maintained. This will move from there. The circle diameter also will get changed a little bit. Or the diameter circle remains the same because this can always, this line can swing at this point. This point is fixed. From that point, it will swing. At the same time, it can extend and diameter circle remains the same. So we will learn about more as we uh, go to dimensional constraint. <clears throat> uh, now, we have learnt about tangent, horizontal, vertical, collinear also we have learnt, symmetric, equal, these two things we have to learn about. Uh, let us say symmetric. Suppose there is a line here, there is another line, see, like this. So we want it to be symmetrical. What we, no constraint have been applied here, and that is something like a mirror. We can say it is symmetrical means from uh, symmetry means there should be one party uh, wall. There should be one wall. Let us say there is a wall. This is a wall line. Let us say how to make it symmetrical. Let us learn about it. Now I want symmetrical. So what we can do is. Symmetry click first object. This is an object and click this, and then second object, click this, and then it shows self symmetrical line. This see now these two becomes symmetrical. Okay, parting line it has become symmetrical. When I raise this. Is same inclination. See, it is inclined certain angle here, 
and it's inclined at the same inclination like a mirror. See this angle, let us measure it. How much? It's 11 degrees. This is also 11 degrees. But in the opposite direction. It is like a mirror. 11 degrees. This is a mirror. It's a mirror like thing. And length is not the same. Suppose you want to make the length equal, what you have to do is <coughs> apply equal this, this. Lengths are equal. Okay? It's symmetrical and lengths are equal. But you can also bring very close to this point uh, by moving this. Then we have to give another constraint. So let us not worry about it. We can do so many things. But now in the line is symmetrical. It is not the mirror image, but it is symmetrical. Mirror image means this point, this point, when you draw a perpendicular, it should meet here. So that is the mirror image, but it is not the mirror image, but it is symmetrical, symmetrically placed. Okay. Now, I will erase this. <coughs> and we'll learn something more about symmetrical. Suppose I draw a line here, vertical line. Here we can understand how it can be more symmetrical. Another line here. And I want these two lines to be symmetrical. I have to draw some particles. See, say, I will draw this line very close to this. So how, how it will be symmetrical, symmetry is set, let us see. means here, since the lines are both vertical, distance from this line to this part, uh, symmetrical line, and distance from each plane to the other line are the same, are equal. Okay, here there are, what are the constraints applied here? Line automatically it is applied vertical constraint. Because I told you auto constraint I have checked, so it is applied automatically, vertical constraint. Auto check, I will just show you auto check. Here all are checked, so it automatically applies. And also, uh, this is also automatically applied, and this is asymmetrical. Uh, asymmetrical, it is becoming symmetrical. Now, I think we have discussed all these things, collinear, symmetrical, etc. Uh, all these points we have discussed, tangent also we have discussed, parallel also we have discussed, smooth one, one more. Smooth is applied to the curve. Uh, suppose you want so many lines joined together, you want to make it smooth. Let us say, want to smooth. Let us see whether we can apply smooth here. Smooth. We can't apply smooth here because the line, this constraint is there. So to apply smooth, what we can do, perhaps, we can delete this constraint and delete this constraint. Now let us see whether we can apply smooth. No. This can basically apply for the curves. Smooth can be applied to the curves. We will discuss about it. Later on, about smooth after discussing the dimension line. Let us see, uh, we can apply for the curve. Now, let us select this plugin. First, let us create a curve. This is one curve and another curve. 
another curve we will create uh, from here. Now we have to remove this because it will constrain, it will overlap and it will have a conflict. So we have to remove the constraints. Now we can try to apply smooth. So the curve, these two curves join, but they are not smooth. At the end, it is small, sharp, and it asks like this. So select first spline curve, select this, and second spline curve, select this. It has become smooth. Similarly, you can apply here with the It's already applied, it becomes one single curve. So you cannot have once again uh, uh, smooth. Let us see if we can sir. So it says first thing. And become smooth. So both places we selected and we smooth. This is how smooth command can be applied. <clears throat> now uh, we'll do a small exercise on this, applying all the constraints. Let us uh, Let us uncheck all these things. Now we don't think. We draw an exercise first. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. We draw some irregular figure. Now, <clears throat> we'll first remove all the constraint. Delete all the constraint. Start from the beginning how we can apply for the entire picture, picture drawing, not picture. So there is no constraint on this. We start applying. We want to make this object a uh, apply the. Suppose we remove this. Let us say a symmetrical object. We make. Let us see how we can do it. So I will join these two. But constraint is applied. I am going to remove this constraint. So no constraint is applied on this job. And we'll uh, remove this line also. This line also will be erased. And join this with this. Or we'll make it uh, uh, inclined. We'll make it inclined. I will, I will take a hard figure to show you how constraint operate and make an even figure like this. Suppose I want to make this, I will remove this constraint. Delete. Delete. Now let us see how we can make a regular. Uh, figure this constraint. I want this line, this line, this line to be horizontal. Okay, I click on this. It has become horizontal. I click on this. This is horizontal. And then I make this also horizontal. It has become horizontal. And then we have to trim these lines or make it equal. And then I want to make this vertical. This I will make vertical. It has become vertical. And similarly, I will make this vertical. This also become vertical. And <clears throat> I want this line, this line to be coincident, coincident, this and this, it has come there. Or if you have clicked the other one, we will see, first we will click on this and bring the, this, first we click on this. Coincident, just join. Okay, 
and similarly we will make coincident this and this it has joined so now we want to make this and this equal so we can apply equal only thing it should not be conflict so it has become equal and now we have to make this also equal this is equal and now we make this and this coincident this slide has come up here and now has come now we have to bring this line here so what we can do is we try to make it coincident has come here and we will remove this other is the line may not move we do one thing uh we will bring it coincident it's come okay now this this we will make coincident just come here and uh, we make uh, the other one also coins let us see whether we can do it or not oh so we have to make this vertical suppose i keep this vertical we are not applied vertical here apply vertical and now we will see whether we can make it this also we have to make vertical let's come so now lines we have aligned <clears throat> now the bottom one will make it horizontal let's see yes it has become horizontal and now these two lines are not equal this is vertical this is vertical these two lines are not equal so shall we make equal yes it has become equal now so the lines are all equal this is equal to this this is equal to this this is equal to this this is equal this is single line these two lines are equal these two are equal these two are equal now we want to make it symmetrical about a line so let us see whether we can or if in a midpoint it will be symmetrical that is all or if you select some other point let us see some if we want to make this symmetrical uh, then we possibly we can select this all the thing the entire figure uh, let us see whether it is possible or not it may be or may not be possible let us select and see symmetrical whether we can because it is a different two different figures see symmetrical select first object see this 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 cannot be applied in conflict you can't apply it so what we have to do is to make it uh, because this line is equal no these two lines are equal these two you can't apply this symmetry here uh, suppose we'll see what other things we can do uh, symmetry over else we can apply this and this and suppose i let me no it is symmetrical it is this is closer and so it is it is symmetrical lines are horizontally it is symmetrical this line 
you can't apply the symmetry layer. First object, second object, C. Now it has lines, because lines are not constrained, it has become symmetrical. This is how we can do symmetry. So, you want to hide all these things, you can see all constraint can be hidden. You can hide the constraint. <coughs> hide. <coughs> hide. Hide. Hide all constraints, you can see. All are hidden. So, symmetrical line, if you want, you can remove the symmetrical line. Show how the job, the object which was in a regular, in a regular way, made it a regular simple object. This is how we can apply various constraint. Till now I have discussed only geometrical constraint and then in the next class I will discuss about the uh, dimensional constraint. So we end the class now.